There are very few plugins I can say actually save insane amounts of time, and the one I'm going to talk about right now is one of those plugins. Vocal editing is really time consuming, and I'm not talking about pitch correction. I'm talking about editing vocals rhythmically. And if you're like, Nathan, I don't do this, then you should, because you're going to see how much of a difference this makes. I made a video on this quite a while ago. It has over 130,000 views, which is great, but I hate to say it. I no longer edit vocals this way because honestly, it just takes forever and there is a much, much better way that saves probably one to two hours per production of mine in editing, depending on the scale of the vocal production. So what we're gonna talk about is the plugin Vocaline. I'm not being paid to talk about this, but they did supply me with a copy for free and that's it. But if you buy it through Sweetwater with my link below, I do get a bit of a kickback and that's a cool way of supporting the channel. Disclosure, disclosed. So what this plugin does is allows me to rhythmically edit all of my vocals with a few clicks and it's basically what I would describe as magical. Because when I use it, it makes me think of all the time I can now spend doing other actual fun things rather than editing vocals. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. Here's just a segment of one of my productions in verse two where there's a lead vocal, two doubles, two low octaves, and four tracks of harmonies you can see right here. Let's just take a listen to the raw tracks with absolutely no plugins on the tracks whatsoever. Every second we have, it's a blessing. Every minute we get, Another chance to look at what we got. So for the purpose of this video, I just re-recorded all of these vocals quickly to show you what I'm talking about. So these right here are not the actual vocals that were produced on the track, which I'll show you at the end. Now what Vocaline is not gonna do is fix your crappy performances. Let me just get that out of the way. If you have a truly awful performance, then it's not gonna sound great because the performances don't sound great. That's just kind of how it works. But if you have performances that sound great or are pretty solid, then Vocaline is gonna work. So you need to start with good source and get it right during the performance side of things. So with that said, when we solo these vocals out like this, you can hear some very minor rhythmic discrepancies between the vocals. We're not Really listening to pitch at this moment. And this is totally normal because when you layer vocals like this, it's it's virtually impossible to do it without those small discrepancies. Now, in this case, it's really minor. On the doubles and octaves at the beginning part of this, it's really tight because I'm pretty used to performing layers like this. So I've gotten pretty good at performing with layers to synchronize. But once we actually go to the harmonies here, we can start noticing some rhythmic discrepancies. You can especially see it right in here. You can see the transients are happening a little bit off. They're not all lined up. For example, this one here is a little bit early. This one's a little bit early and you can see these ones here are actually a little bit late. So let's just listen to this part here with all the harmonies and stuff and you can start hearing a lot more of the discrepancies happening. A chance to look at what we got. And we're gonna talk about this right here in just a second. I actually did this on purpose to show you what vocal line is not gonna do. You can tell that the vocals here actually continued whereas they broke here, there's a breath and this one doesn't take a breath. You'll see how this works and see why you cannot fix that with vocal line. So the manual way of editing would be editing every single one of these tracks to the lead vocal with the scissor tool and crossfades using the transients as the guide. That's what we were just looking at, which I'll talk about in depth in a different video but that I mentioned at the beginning if you wanna know what that looks like. So for a track like this, which has you know a ridiculous amount of vocals, I'd probably spend about two hours working on just align the vocals like that. Not cool. So that's basically what vocal line is gonna do in just a few minutes with a few clicks. Now you might notice that I actually track my vocals in sections. So I have a whole separate set of tracks for my chorus vocals. That's right here. This is in this track stack. And then the verse vocals are here in this track stack. So in this track, I did this process two separate times to account for that. So you're not going to do it all at once. You're going to split it up based on the parts you're actually recording. So basically if you have a lead vocal that goes all the way through the song, like verse, chorus, bridge, all that stuff is just one track that you can just do this one time. But if you have separate tracks for different parts or different sections, you'll have to do it however many times you've had different segments done. So I usually do this not just for organization, but also because I often mix my chorus vocals a little bit differently. I'm going to mix my verse vocals. So we're just going to do this one little section here that we're looking at. First off, you're going to have to do this before you do anything else. In other words, right now there are no plugins on this. There's no pitch correction or anything. So we're going to have to do the vocal line before we do all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is open up my mixer window here. You can see these are the tracks, and I'm gonna add vocal line on all of these. So we're gonna go in here, add vocal line on every single one of these tracks. Now you can see vocal line is on all of them. So now that we have vocal line here, we're gonna go to the lead vocal, which is this one right here. We're gonna go and click on it. So the very first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do now that we have this open is actually select the preset that we want. So you can open this here and you have a couple of different presets. You have tightest timing, slightly loose timing and whatnot. I'm gonna do tightest timing because I personally like that really, really nice tight vocal timing. So we're gonna to go to the lead vocal and we're gonna click this capture button. So we're gonna click this once. You're gonna hear a little bit of a noise that happens and boom, it has now captured this. And then we're gonna to go to all of the dubs or the doubles and harmonies and stuff. We're gonna open up that, click on it, open, just select all of them. And then we're gonna do capture for this bottom one. So you can see this is a guide and this is dub. So we're now looking at the dubs. We're gonna click this, boom. It's now analyzing. That's what that little dot is. And now it's ready. So now that we've got this, basically done. So let's actually take a listen now. 
Here we go. Let's just listen to it soloed out. I'll show you what it sounds like in the context of the track in a little bit. Every second we have, it's a blessing. Every minute we get, another chance to look at what we got. So first of all, if you're like, oh, I didn't really notice too much, we can really notice it in this second half here. So I'm gonna actually just, so I'm gonna just go ahead and mute out these bottom ones because that's the vocal that we're gonna take a look at in a second. But let's just look at these vocals where it got a line nice and tight. A chance to look at what we got. So now everything is perfectly aligned. So everything is looking really nice and tight, sounds more tight, and that's exactly what we want. Now, we need to talk about this. So you can hear that in this bottom one, I hang on to this word a little bit longer. A chance to look. Chance to look. So the all the performances here were chance to look. There's a, there's a pause there, but there's not a pause on these ones. That is not something that vocal line is going to fix. So this is one of those instances where I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you that you have to perform that correctly. This was an example of it not being performed correctly. If this is what I was working with, I would have to go back and re-record this to make sure that it is perfectly lining up and I'm actually taking a pause right here. Now, some people might just go in here and literally delete it and then you can maybe add a fade here. We'll see if that even sounds good. Another chance to look at. I mean, you could do that actually. It doesn't sound too bad, but you can tell the difference. A chance to look at what. Actually, that that actually works pretty darn well. So maybe you could do that. So once we're done with vocal line and actually in all these vocal edits, once we want to start doing pitch correction and other processing, what we need to do is actually bounce or commit all of this audio. So what we're going to do is grab all of the vocals that we just got done editing and in Logic it's called bounce in place, replace tracks, and then we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Now you want to make sure that the bypass plugin effects, you want to make sure that that is not checked. So just like that, we've now gotten that done. And now we can actually go through and do all of our pitch correction. We can start adding additional processing and all of that. And this is completely printed or baked in. So now what I want to do is actually show you what this sounds like in the context of the entire track with the final vocals. Here we go. Every second we have, it's a blessing. Every minute we get another chance to look out. So super tight, super clean. That's what it sounds like with the pitch correction, all the processing, everything else. But I can tell you right now, this plugin, it just saves an insane amount of time. So obviously this makes a massive difference. And if you wanna get this plugin, then I have a link below for you to check out. It's my Sweetwater link. But in the meantime, if you wanna learn how to get your vocals sounding awesome like this, then you need to watch this video right here because I go deep on how I create professional quality vocals in my home studio from start to finish. We'll see you in that video.